So null and undefined, both of these are values that if tested with an if statement would give us a falsy response. But what's the difference between them? So null is something that is intentionally set inside of a variable. If you created a variable and you wanted to track whether or not something had happened or you were going to store a piece of HTML inside of a variable and wanted to intentionally say that at the moment there's nothing inside that variable, null would be an appropriate choice. Null means nothing, void, emptiness. It's something that you intentionally put inside of a variable to say that there's nothing there. Undefined is the lack of something being set inside of a variable. So if you created a variable and you hadn't assigned a value to it yet, or if you were trying to reference a property that didn't exist, in cases like this, you're going to be getting undefined as an answer back from the JavaScript interpreter. If we run type of commands, so I'm going to run this script just so we see these messages written out on the screen to prove that these comments are correct. Um, so that's the file we want. There we go. So we can see that this list matches what we have here. So type of tells you what kind of variable you have, the data type of that. We've got null is considered to be an object. It's a special type. Undefined is undefined. That is the type. When you're comparing null and undefined, if you were looking for object equivalency, so with the three equals sign to say, are these two the same object? You get back false. They are not the same thing. But is the value equivalent? Sure. Yeah, we get a true for that. They are both falsy values. If you ran them through an if statement, both of them would give you a false. But comparing null to null, whether it's the object equivalency or the uh, value equivalency, we get true for both. For undefined compared to undefined, of course, we get the same answer. Null, when you flip it, you will get a true. It's a falsy being flipped. You'll get a true. You can do the same thing with undefined. Uh, if you take null and you add one to it, and then check to see if it's not a number, you will get false. But for undefined, if you add one to undefined, and check is not a number, you'll get true. So this is kind of an odd case. Um, and sometimes you can build tests if you're trying to get find the difference between undefined and null. Um, there's all sorts of things that you can do, but the simplest and easiest is just to use the object equivalency with the three equal signs. So just to illustrate this a little bit further, actually here we'll uh, push this down. If I were to declare a variable x, so this is a little bit more practical application, declaring the variable x, and then at some point in my code, I'm logging out the value of that. And we're just going to comment out this whole block right here. I run that, undefined. So we've created a variable, we've declared a variable, but we haven't assigned a value to it. So this is giving us back undefined. If we were to create a function and we do not provide any return statement, when we run that, what comes back automatically by default, if you do not create a return statement, one is created for you and it will return undefined. There we go. So this is the variable x, and this is the function abc. This is what it gives us back, undefined. We have not specified anything. We have not come in here and said return null. If I do that, there we are. Null is what came back. But if you have nothing defined, undefined. And one final example here. If you were trying to get take an object that does exist, so I'm in node so I can use the global object, and then you try to access a property that does not exist. There is no blah property in the global object. Just like in the window object, there is no blah property. So if you were testing this in the browser, you could use window here. I'm going to console log out the value of y, and we're going to get undefined. Because this property does not exist. This object does exist, but this one does not. 
if I were to try and set this equal to some garbage object and get a property y. Oh, sorry, I've got to use a different variable name here. There we are. Run this again, and here we are. We got a reference error because ASDF does not exist. So you can't get a property inside of something that does not exist. This ASDF is undefined. There's no blah property inside of something that is undefined. So we cannot do this. Global exists. So we were able to do the other thing. And then one last example. We can intentionally set null as the value. lines out so they don't interfere. And there we are, null at the very end. So we can intentionally put null inside of a variable to indicate the lack of existence of a value. And that's it. That's the difference between null and undefined. Any questions? Please leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.